Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of 3D sessions. Today we will be making a 3D model of donuts with different toppings and we will use particle system for sprinkles and we'll give the material to them. Now let's start modeling. Select the cube and delete it. Press X and delete. Now we will add the torus. Shift A, Mesh and Torus. Click here at the menu. Major segments make 28 and minor segments make 18. And major radius make 0.5 and the minor radius 0.25 is fine. Now we have the Torus. Click on the torus, press tab for the edit mode, press 1 for the vertex mode. Now press O for the proportional editing. Select the one vertex. Now press G and we will make little bit deform. This donut we will make little bit D shape. So press G and little drag will give the randomly. So it looks like a handmade donut. Now I think this is fine. Press tab for the object mode. Now go to modifier. Click on the add modifiers and add the subdivision surface. Make the level 2. Right click and shade smooth now we will make the icing select the donut go to front view press tab for the edit mode alt z for the x-ray mode press 1 for the vertex mode and select the top vertices now alt z to come out of the x-ray mode now we will duplicate this shift d Press P and selection to separate that. So now we have two separate objects. This is icing and this one is donut. Now we'll give the name donut and this one is icing. Now select the icing and scale it little big S and scale. Now go to modifier tab and we will give thickness to it for that we will give the solidify make it 0 3 click on the arrow and move to first so we will keep the solidify at the first and next will be the subdivision surface now select the icing press tab for the edit mode select everything by pressing a right click and subdivide now select one vertex press g and drag it adjust it We will adjust those later on. Now press O and turn off the proportional editing. Now select these vertices and adjust those.
Now turn on the subdivision surface and shade smooth. So wherever is this? Now it looks nice. Now select the icing, press tab and for the inner part also press 2 for the edge more select this edge and scale it little bit this is fine now select the donut press tab for the edit more 2 for the edge more and select the center edge and scale it to inside press S and scale it to inside this is fine this gap looks big so select this two and S Z edges now this is fine now select the IC Press tab for the edit mode, one for the vertex mode, select the vertex and here also we'll make little bit uneven. Press O for the proportional editing, now drag, we'll make it little bit not much. this is fine now our donut is ready and let's give the material to the icing select the icing and go to the material press the plus and new for the base color hex enter the hex code here press Z and material preview it looks very rough We'll reduce the roughness to 0 0.3. This is fine. Now subsurface also we will increase little bit. So it looks natural. And here subsurface color we will make it little dark. Select that. Enter the hex code. We'll make it darker shade of the pink only so now this is our icing so I feel this is not good so I will correct this one So we gave the shape here, that's why it's looking like this. We can adjust that. Yeah, it looks fine now. Now we'll give the color to the donut. Select the donut, add the material. And here now we will paint this donut because donut color is the brown and here in the middle it looks little whitish. So let's go to the texture paint. Click on the new. Give the name to the image. It's a donut texture. Okay. Now we will save this image. So go to image. Save as and wherever you want to save select the folder and save as image now go to shading we'll add the texture now shift a texture and image texture open the image the donut texture open image and color to the base color so right now there is no texture in the image so it looks black now again go to texture paint press n select the first color and enter the code i want this color and i saved the code so enter the code 
enter let's make this area big now make the radius big and we will paint this one everywhere paint this so now you can see the donut color is changed don't forget to save now switch the paint so here this arrows click on those now select here and make it white it's white make the radius small and here in the drop down menu select the overlay now in this gap we will make the white color so in the center only the white color so reduce the strength again let's increase the radius little bit this is fine control is to save go to layout and this is donut it looks little light let's go to again texture paint and now it's difficult to change actually switch the color make it little dark Sorry, make it mix. Go to layout. Now reduce the roughness here. It's too much. Now let's create sprinkles. First press Z and go to solid view. Now add shift A, mesh and add the UV sphere. Make segments 12 and ring 7. Go to left view. Make it small. Press tab. Alt Z. Press 3 for the face mode and select top faces and drag it up. This is the small sprinkle. Now duplicate this. Shift D. Press tab and drag it up. And this is the big one. Shift D. Duplicate it. Press tab and make it small and make it different height now add two edge loops control r and two edge loops and move it little bit and give a little cow shape this is fine alt z to come out of the x-ray mode now let's give the name to the all this is small this one is big this is curve now select all three press m new collection and give a name sprinkle okay so now we have one collection name sprinkle now using particle system we will add the sprinkles on the donut select the icing so first of all we will duplicate this donut and icing both shift d donut also shift d and select the both and add in a one collection duplicate and hide those now select this icing go to modifier properties and we will apply this modifier solidify apply now go to the particle system add the particle select on the hair click on the advance select the donut and hide it 
now go to the render here select the collection and instance collection select the sprinkle now you can see sprinkles on the icing below also you can see here we do not want so for that we will go to the weight paint go to the top and we will paint here red means 1 and the blue means 0 so wherever blue color is there sprinkles will be less and the, on the red color sprinkles will be more so now go to the vertex group density and select the group go to the object mode and now you can see below there are no sprinkles now again go to the rotation check that orientation axis make it normal randomize the sprinkles randomize face so play with the settings and do it we can reduce the number of the sprinkles by reducing the number make it around 500 it's very less 700 yes this is fine 700 now unhide the donut now go to material preview Z and material preview now we want to give the color to the sprinkles so select the sprinkle go to material with the base color enter the hex code we will use the pastel colors now select this one select this one and now you can see the different colors let's change this one purple make it little bright and reduce the roughness so sprinkles are shiny little bit so our one donut is ready now let's make the donut with the other sprinkles now we will make one more donut with the different type of icing select this two and duplicate those shift d now we'll make the balls shift a mesh and uv sphere make it small shift d and duplicate that make it little big shift d duplicate that and make it very small now we will give the color to those ball one we'll reduce the roughness to point one now ball two roughness to point one and we will keep this one white only and reduce the roughness to 0.1 now for the IC add one more material icing 2 control A icing 2 and assign keep it white it's fine 
Now we'll create the collection of these three balls. Select all three, press M, new collection, ball underscore sprinkle. Now go to particle system. Now here you can see it is written to means this particle system is linked with the two objects. So if we change here with the ball, the other donut also will be changed. So we will disconnect the link here. So for that click on the two. So now we have the separate two particle systems. So now where if we change here to the ball sprinkle, it will be changed only here. It's not affect to the other donuts. So now let's reduce the number. It looks too much. And let's make this shade smooth. Now it is looking nice. So now we have two donuts with the different sprinkles. Now let's create one more donut with the heart sprinkles. So select this icing and donut, shift D and duplicate it. So now let's create the heart, shift A, mesh and plane. Make it small, press Z and solid view, press tab and add the edge loop, control R, press 1 for the vertex mode, select this three vertices and make it narrow. Now select this one and bring it down. Now let's add one more edge loop, control R and bring it up. Select these two and scale it big. Press 3 and select all. Press E and extrude it. Now we will add the subdivision surface. Select the modifier tab and subdivision surface. Right click and shade smooth. It's little pointy. This is fine. Make it small. Z and material preview. We'll give the red color to it. Base color, select the red. Roughness, make it 0 0.01. Select the donut, particle system. Click on this two number to disconnect the link. And now we have only one object. So instead of collection we will make it object and here let's give the name to this object heart here we will select the heart now we will uncheck the rotation and reduce the number I think this is fine. So now one more donut with the heart is ready.
after setting the lights and rendering this is how it looks